and they've raised millions of dollars just by riding. How you can help cycle for survival after this. just looking at these guys. <laughs> the whole spin class in our room right now. There is. It's for a great cause, and we're going to be talking to them, Cycling for Survival, coming up soon. Are you going to uh, get on the spin cycle? Because you, know, you don't love the gym. Unfortunately, there's no bike available for me, so I don't think I can. I'm, there I'm sure they we are. can try to figure one out. Uh, <laughs> someone will free one up for you. We'll have that story for you and how they're helping cancer in just a minute. But first, a question. Thanks so much. Rick. In 2003, Jennifer Goodman Lynn's life was turned upside down when she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. While battling the disease, she realized how little funding there is for rare cancers, and she wanted to change that. So Jennifer and her husband started a foundation called Cycle for Survival. Since then, the foundation has raised more than $13 million. Just last year, Jennifer joined us on Fox & Friends. My husband and I started doing research and we realized that rare cancers are more common than you think. When you group all of them together, they actually are 50% of all cancer cases a year. When I was first diagnosed, I found exercise very therapeutic for me. And so I would go to the gym and cycle and I decided to kind of passion, take my passion for marketing and couple it with cycling. Sadly, just five months after that interview, Jennifer lost her fight with cancer, but her husband is making sure her cause lives on. Dave Lynn is preparing to mark the sixth year of cycle survival next month, and he joins us now. Dave, great to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. We're so sorry for your loss, um, but we're so Thank happy you. that you're continuing Jennifer's legacy. Tell us how you're doing that. Sure. I mean, Jennifer, no matter what she went through, six major surgeries, over 20 different types of chemotherapy, she was always thinking, what can I do to help other patients? And so when I get down or anybody else gets down, we think we need to keep going with everything she started. And we've got the events coming up this year. They're going to be bigger and better than ever. $13 million is a lot. Yeah, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how have you done it so successfully? So we started out, and I found one of Jen's old emails, and she said, if we could just raise $10,000, that would be great. And here we are, actually, updated total, we're up above $14 million, Oh, my gosh. And we're hoping to continue to push that forward in the next couple of weeks before the events on February 4th and February 11th and 12th. What are rare cancers? So rare cancers, we were shocked when we found this out. They are actually all types of cancer that affect less than 200,000 people a year. And these are types of cancers you've heard of, pancreatic cancer, brain cancer, stomach cancer, kidney cancer. And when you add them up, as Jen said on that interview, they total 50% of all cancers. And there aren't any, until Cycle for Survival, there weren't any national events that collectively focused on those rare cancers. So does it follow that those rare cancers, though they're, they are ones that we've heard of and they do add up to so much, do they have less funding than others? Exactly. They just don't get the funding. They're huge events for breast cancer and prostate, which are great causes, but these other cancers just don't get the love. Sometimes they're called orphan cancers. Mm -hmm. And so what we started with our event was a way to find new treatment options for these cancers. And every single dollar that's raised goes directly into research that's led by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. That is so helpful. So tell us about yeah. the event next week. So the event, it's a team indoor cycling event. So Equinox is our founding sponsor, and they've got the best gyms around. So they clear out all of the equipment, all the weights, and they fill the entire place with bikes. And so you have people in teams riding, and it's a fun, inspiring event, and all the teams are raising money for cancer research. Indoor cycling, should we give it a shot, people? We should. Yeah. How does it work? So what will we be seeing next week? So what we'll be seeing is Jen always said whether you pedal hard or hardly pedal, this is the perfect <laughs> event for you. And what you see next week is people in their shirts with different teams. We've got Expect Miracles for Mark right here. We've got Team Sydney. And everybody gets together and everybody has their own story about why they're riding because I mean, the sad facts are that one in every two men and one in every three women are going to be affected by cancer at some point in their lifetime. And so that's why we have to 
keep riding and keep doing everything we can. So for people who are watching, who want to throw their support behind the event, how do they get involved? So they can go to cycleforsurvival.org and they can register to sign up a team to ride with us or they can donate to support the cause. And like we were talking about before, every dollar goes right into research. Gosh, that's so terrific. All right, who's tired? <laughs> we're not tired yet. But... Then you're better than I. You have more willpower than I if you're not tired yet. You guys look great. Uh, you're doing great. Dave, thanks so much for coming in and telling us all about it. We really appreciate everything that you've done for these cancers. Oh, thank you for having me. And really, it's, it's the whole group here. It's everybody and their teams that's really carrying on what Jen saw, Jen started. That's great. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for coming in. Then drop and give me 20 in a minute. Yeah. Right, let's go back to Clayton and Dave for what's coming on. Isn't it convenient oh, that Allie forgets her running shoes? Right. See, I didn't bring my shoes or my sweatpants Lazy. to be able to do this. The thing it's here, though, they won't allow these bikes up in the O'Reilly Studios. No? Think about that for a second. Coming no up on the spin. show. No spin zone. Terrible nice. joke. Terrible joke day <laughs> continues here. I on loved Boston it, man.